Well, hello there, YouTube. You guys remember the last Riker I took you guys for a ride on? That was a standard 900 triple. How about the 900 Rally? This is the famous Rally. This one's actually designed to do some light off-roading. Pretty much in flat areas. I mean, you're not going trail riding or anything with it. You know, dirt roads and, you know, out in the sand maybe. I don't know how far I'd go in the sand, but, you know, some good open areas, I would think. But, uh, you'll see it has the upgraded suspension. KYBs, fully adjustable. More aggressive tires. Different wheels. And the rally comes with the, the rear um, luggage rack, I guess you could call it. And uh, this luggage rack accommodates uh, like passenger seat, backrest, uh, uh, saddlebags. Ah, massive swing arm on this thing. She's one-sided. And uh, BRP, like BMW, and they're one-sided. They make them beefy, boy. CVT drive system. You got a, um, on this side, you pop it open. There's a little little funnel uh, for filling fuel if you're uh, oh and by the way if somebody opens this if anybody ever figure out that's where the gas caps at this is just like a modern car if you pour something in there it just pours down a gate and goes and pours to the ground nobody's gonna come along they'd have to figure out some way of pushing that thing open you need a nozzle or I can't believe people even think of this crap but they do or use this funnel this funnel is actually designed to you know if you're using a jerry can or something you know and this is your belt uh, air filter for the CVT your oil check and then on the other side is uh, I guess I didn't go in this detail last time is uh this is your engine air filter there's two clips is one one on uh, each side on the bottom you just lift up and the filter is captured in this ram air cover which is really cool and uh here's your your little inky dinky little uh storage area i think it's somebody said it was like one and a half liters or something maybe it's a little bigger than that it's just for trinkets this is not a spider and it is not a touring bike <laughs> This is rip around with the biggest smile on your face ever. Although they have, you can see where they mount. They got different shields for them, and they've got, like I said, the saddlebags and backrest. And so, you know, it's kind of. I know I keep using that analogy, and it freaks some people out because they don't know anything about them. But it's kind of that, uh, you know, sportster kind of a thing versus, you know, like a street glide. You know, if you can throw a backpack on or you can add some stuff and make it more comfortable but don't confuse this with a spider not a spider it's a can-am roadster but it's the Riker line not the spider line and the size is considerably smaller which is just makes this thing cooler than cool I thought them pegs felt different they're look but they're about midway the last one I rode the pegs were all the way forward and this looks like it's about an inch back from all the way forward and uh, somebody flopped the mirrors around you'll notice they're upside down so uh, without me even trying <laughs> apparently it works and you'll notice that the uh, rally has a different seat too and uh, Kelly and I my wife put these panels on last Thursday or Friday um, the upgraded KYB or Kayaba um, adjustable front suspension and the whole bike rides higher it has a has a higher ground clearance I, I don't know what the spec is but it is higher than the standard rally well, let's quit talking let's get to riding so if you guys know anything about our company we're also um, actually the uh, I'm at Pro Caliber Motorsports which is also Pro Caliber Indian uh, motorcycle and it's also BMW motorcycles of Vancouver the uh, pro caliber part is the uh, where the spiders are at it's all in the same building but uh, we also kind of linked sort of um, we're, we're kind of on our own now but we're linked with uh, uh, Dick Hanna um, dealerships 
you know you know if you look we're a big toyota dealer this is not our toyota dealer so don't come rush down here to buy your toyota go to longview washington and buy it but anyway they, i come if you guys follow me a while i do a lot of loops through their parking lots and and uh, i like this brick driveway thing here for uh doing walk arounds and screenshots and stuff like that <laughs> so uh I think we have two of these two of these uh, rallies at the moment. And let me tell you, when the sun comes out and stays out, uh, they'll be gone. Man, do these things get a lot of attention. Holy moly. But I think retail, I could, don't quote me, I'm not a salesman. I don't pay attention. I don't pay attention to numbers anyway. As I'm sure you guys are well aware of. This is a noticeably more performance suspension too. I can feel the, the stiffer, more robust feeling to it. The uh, but anyway, I think it's eleven four ninety nine or eleven nine ninety nine for the uh, the Riker Rally, which is which is what I'm on. I don't think there's a rally version in the six hundred. The six hundred is a parallel twin. The nine hundred, which I'm on is a uh, inline uh, triple and the motor the, I, I can't say it is because it's not but it's based on the, the very famous uh, 900 snowmobile four stroke and the uh, 900 uh, spark watercraft so the top end on this thing is pretty much the same and those things are just famous for their reliability. They're Rotax built. Uh, if you're thinking, why am I buying a Canadian built uh, bike that's uh, got a Austrian built motor? Um, probably make you happy to know that uh, BRP owns Rotax engines in, uh, in Austria. If you guys been around the Can-Am stuff, you know they're they're world famous for their reliability. These things are just... I will have one of these. Whether I, you know, try to get one as a demo or just, just flat out purchase one. They're not that expensive. This, this thing is about, about what I paid for uh, Kelly's Sportster 48. on the throttle and it roll out. So much fun. <laughs> I love it. Brakes feel very, very responsive. Whoa. You gotta be easy on the throttle though. Now somebody was concerned Oh, just so you know, somebody made, why did you park in the middle of a road? This used to be a medium that went all the way through here. This is a quiet neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I park in the middle of the road. I've done tons of walk around. The guys making those comments probably just uh, not long time followers. Okay, Van, you let me go? I don't know, you weren't. <laughs> Wild woman there. She gave up in a very functional self-canceling turn signals, which is really nice. I just the power from this thing is just impressive as heck. Oh, so I cut off there. The guys were concerned about the back wheel spinning up at will like it does. That's just me riding in a fun mode. The uh, there's. There's eco. I think you go eco, and then you click one more time. And it says eco off. Well, the, the eco off is just is not the fuel limiting eco, but it it has a, a lot of the um, traction control and all that kind of good stuff in there. So you can play around with this thing, set it how you want. It. I think if you put it in eco mode, eco on, they call it. There's eco on, eco off. Eco on is probably like rain mode on a. 
BMW, it's just very safe and, and uh, you know, everything's like hypersensitive to vehicle stability and whatever. So, this is not really a highway per se, but we can get up to some speed here so you guys can get a, get a sense. Whoa. things are fun. <laughs> I'm gonna have one. This is something I can't live without. Man, I can't wait to get one of these things that are broke in and just lay the coal to her. But it'll have to be a demo. I can't do it to a customer's either. So you kind of got this weird thing you go through. It's either new and you can't do it. Because this is some, this is gonna be somebody's bike. And yes, I call them bikes. Look up the definition of motorcycle. <laughs> it says two or three-wheeled cycle, most commonly referred to as a bike. This is not a trike. A, a true trike is wheel in the front with two in the back. But a, you know, trike does not, you know, or a motorcycle does not denote two wheels. Just Wikipedia it or just look it up for yourself. I don't know why people have this weird thing about that. It's just people that just don't know what they're talking about. And they go, that's a trike. Nope, not a trike. Like BRP is very adamant that it's a three-wheeled motorcycle because that's exactly what it is. You don't trike. But anyway, I'll take you through that one. My, this is my normal uh, Toyota loop around here. And I'll, I'll bid you adieu. But uh, thanks for coming along for, for another Riker. This is Riker to another level here. The Riker Rally. And OBRP doesn't add an E to the end of Rally like BMW does. I feel like I always got to say Rally with an E. This thing's got the best fenders. They're, the way they cup everything, nothing flies around anywhere. This thing would you know other than the rain hitting you would probably be a wonderful uh rain bike but you know remember you're sitting on you know small car tires in a in a very light vehicle so don't be going too fast i would venture to guess this thing would hydroplane pretty easy doesn't like riding with skis on but anyway thank you guys for coming along for another Riker ride i appreciate it very much you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, whenever you're watching it. <laughs> we'll see you now.